Hello everyone, welcome to a prelude to the System Shock 2 Sec Modded Again playlist. I meant to get this part recorded, wow, quite some time ago. I actually recorded it yesterday, and I still had a mistake in my priority list. So I am redoing it again, yes. In the playlist you're about to watch, assuming you're about to watch this playlist, you will see me playing through this awesome Sec Mod for System Shock 2 where I also had installed a bunch of other mods for this game. Throughout the playlist, you're going to note some discrepancies in the textures and models which will, I'll be which you'll see in the well, in the game. This is because the priority list I had here was in the incorrect order. Uh, I was lucky in that the game could still run despite the things being out of order, but that everything got applied correctly. For example, if your priority list is incorrect, you end up with the old models for some of the hybrids, which is the case here. This is from the, I think, the original game. As opposed to the much better looking models that is that was made by the modding team. This is the mod priority that I will be, that I am using now, and probably should be the mod priority that you are using, assuming that you are running something similar to what I am. If you're going to go ahead and install mods for System Shock 2, you should come over here to the systemshock.org site, and they have a modding guide here. In particular, they'll have a picture here, and they'll give you examples of things they recommend, and, which I didn't read, down here at the very, very bottom, they have a, hey, you, pay attention to this. Generally, the mod you're running, sec mod, CSP, etc., should be the very bottom thing in your list. Fixing up mods should follow right after, like fixed fix objects and so on. I'm not going to read this to you guys, but read, come here and read this. They also, and I, I actually used this when I first began recording, they show you how you can check to make sure that some of the mods are working properly, in this case, for example. Right away you'll note when you walk up the tram. Yeah, so really, really helpful guide. The people here are also really helpful. If you have questions, you can go to their forums and make po posts about, hey, I'm having trouble, how do I do this? The people over here seem to be really friendly and really helpful to help you out. Helpful to help you out? Yeah, I just said that. I'm not recording this again. <laughs> uh, they were very patient with me throughout my entire time playing the game as well. And if it hadn't been for Voodoo3DFX47 showing up, I think I got your name correct, um, to give me some guidance, uh, I would have probably played through the entire game with the mod priority list incorrect. Don't make the same mistake that I did. Please come here and... Follow these directions if you want to really enjoy the mods that you are running to the fullest and see them all working in the game. Uh, I'm now going to flip to the game itself and show you the difference because this is what I ended up seeing and fighting in the game for the sec modded hybrids that were using crystal shards as weapons. Let me show you what they actually look like when the priority list is correct. There he is everyone. That is the properly textured hybrid model, as opposed to the one we had seen earlier. Oh, something wrong with his... with his hand, though. He's got a shard sticking out of it. Still, he looks significantly better than the other one we had seen before. I think my mo my priority list is finally also correct, so I'll double check it when I get back out there again. In any case, uh, Right, don't make the same mistake I had. I also got, by the way, very lucky, and there's more issues you could have if your priority list is wrong. The textures on your weapons, for example, might be not be correct whatsoever, and or the game could crash, or things might be hovering in space, or God knows what else might happen if your priority li uh, list is wrong. So please go there and double check it. All right, let's cut back out to the desktop where I will say my final farewell, and then we'll get to the playlist. So one more time, everyone, just in case I think it's not crystal clear. When you install mods for System Shock 2 and you have trouble, you should come over here to take a look at their modding guide. If you have still have problems with the mods, go ahead here to their forum and go ahead and ask your questions. Finally, know that when you're watching the playlist, I will show the Blue Mod Manager and a list of mods. What I'm showing you is incorrect. This is the video you should pay attention to with the mods I have installed. And if you're looking at the order, this is more correct, if not correct, compared to the other videos you will see in the playlist. Finally, well, not quite finally, if you like, do like System Shock 2 playlists and like watching people play the game, every time someone uploads a video for it, 
they go ahead and, or rather, a new playlist, someone starts one, they go ahead and put it up here. That's pretty awesome. I really like that. So you get to watch what other people are doing and how they're playing. That's, that's pretty amazing. Finally, thank you again to everyone on the System Shock Org website. I really appreciate your patience and willingness to help, especially me, how dumb I've been with the mods and the orders that I've been putting them in and how I've been doing it all incorrectly. Thank you guys again. All right, everybody. I'm going to go ahead and sign this off now. Hope you guys enjoyed the System Shock 2 uh, videos.